I can see that we can cross over there, but check it out. This is... You can actually see behind me an actual Wagner Center. I don't know if it's empty and what's going on, but we're gonna go close as close as we can and check it out closer. Behind me is actually the uh, Wagner uh, military private company's head offices. It's called Wagner Center. У него жена э, работала 11 лет на как раз на а, a man whose wife was working as an assistant in Wagner said that uh, they knew him personally and that uh, in my next effort I will try to get inside the Wagner center and have uh, maybe ask somebody what's going on that they leave yeah i think he's packing up that person in the back he's packing up he's got he got maybe fired i don't know all right guys what's up this is egon russia and i'm in saint petersburg a beautiful my beloved city but also the hometown of the notorious coup patenting prigozhin wagner uh leader chief prigozhin uh as you know there was an attack a few months ago on his restaurant we're gonna check it out that place and also his main offices of the wagner group so right now there's been in the news that assumably that the precautions companies are being taken down and some different accounts are being shut down etc i don't know what's going on but let's see if, how does his uh, company look like restaurant look like and how does the area look like where his uh, main Wagner um, uh, offices are located it's uh, south eastwards and this place is here right in the very center where this restaurant is located right by the beautiful never river all right subscribe to the channel let's go and check it out just by the embankment of Never River uh, what is this uh, I don't remember the uh, the bridge name but anyways here is a proportions restaurant that was infamously in the news I'm gonna check it out how does it look like and uh, is there any differences made let's go check it out so this is a busy busy intersection leading towards and from the bridge and uh, all right there's a uh, that loggers this is the place where the bomb went off that's his uh, kind of a memorial quick memorial because the explosion was here but uh, this is Precaution's restaurant and uh, it looks it's been sealed off it was it actually looked like this already earlier I think it's because of the, uh, the it's too hot this place would be too hot inside because of the Sun burns so much but check it out here's the restaurant it looks uh, semi ready it says uh, from, 11 to, from 11 to 11, but otherwise it's not open, no names. Here's the plaque against for the uh, for the victim of that bomb attack. Uh, but uh, no precaution. The name is still here. It says Giper Z Front. Whoa, what is that? I thought it was a restaurant. Anyways. It seems that uh, is it open. It looks pretty cool, but it's all empty. There's no. It says street food over there, and there's like Georgia River as well inside, but nothing special else. Not even the uh, name of the restaurant. I would guess 
and it won't be operating no longer. Is it due to the current events with precautions Cooper 10 and his companies take being taken off? I don't know, but uh, at least we're gonna. At least it's not all working. But you know what? Now we're gonna head off to Wagner's. Uh, office, main office in St. Petersburg. We're gonna check it out the area. Let's see how close can we get. By the way, there is a police presence in that box on the left, but it's always here because this is a huge intersection. Huge, huge intersection. Mestis Rasi, together with Russia, Bank Russia, Bank of Russia, it says. All right, let's go. What's up y'all, this is Egon Russia, your favorite Igor, and now we're at uh, St. Petersburg, my hometown, kind of a, I feel like it is my hometown. Coming from the West, I truly arrived home in St. Petersburg. So in this video, we are walking towards and check out from Novocherkaska metro station to a private uh, military company, Wagner head office. There's been a lot of things in the news that, uh, first of all, CNN says that, well, Americans claim that <clears throat> that FSB is going to assassin Prigozhin in Belarus or somewhere. Then they're saying that uh, also in other news that uh, the official channels of uh, Prigozhin has been blocked. And another thing was that uh, his companies are being closed down. Also, his company's channels, I think, were closing off. I went to the restaurant that he owns and it looked pretty empty, actually. I don't know, was it empty already since the bomb went off? Anyways, and now we're gonna walk on this Novocherkaski awesome location. Check out the life and also check out how does the head office of Prigozhin's Wagner look like right now when there was a coup going on there was a uh, special forces or some kind of uh, forces entered that Wagner station and uh, they were searching for something and they, then there was news also that they were checking out Wagner's company's uh, workers and past workers uh, apartments etc and they found gold gold bricks white powder white substance and uh, a lot of cash in different locations this is what i know this is what i read so now we're gonna check out the life here in say in petersburg Novocherkaskaya. please subscribe i'm eager in russia let's go all right the wagner center is watching all over us and uh, it is located right next to the to the to the bridge the bridge is called i think finnish bridge Vilensky. and uh, i have a series also i have a series where i explore have explored basically all uh locations with finnish heritage or finnish background and uh i've also filmed this Finnish bridge from up close so if you like this stuff go check out uh, Finnish St. Petersburg playlist I have many playlists but you'll find it I can see that we can cross over there but check it out this is you can actually see behind me an actual Wagner Center I don't know if it's empty and what's going on, but we're gonna go close, as close as we can and check it out closer. I hope I won't get in trouble. Oh 
my god that's an awesome building guys i have to tell you it doesn't look like a private military company well at least i don't know how does private military companies look like but that one is <laughs> extraordinary all right yes and that's it says nevsky rayon underneath we're gonna you're gonna see it soon but uh, nevsky rayon nevsky region starts from here it's different from the central district where is actually the uh, uh, nevsky prospect is located but this refers to the uh, to the never river which goes right there be right after those trees approximately all right guys we're here behind me is actually the uh, Wagner uh, military private companies head offices it's called Wagner Center can you see it Тут живете, нет? Ну, у меня строители живут рядышком. А мы женой... Видели, когда там что-то эти э, штурмовали? Мы ты бегали. Ну, в основном да. в новостях. А, да, да тоже. У меня есть. Я сам владелец барбершопа и сам барбер. У меня есть клиент как раз на днях стрикса. У него жена э, работала 11 лет на как раз на. А, на что-то сказала? Вот. Ну, говорит, что они его хорошо знают, вот, что за человек. Ага. Вот, это, конечно... Ну, видимо, там всех секретов они не рассказывают. Конечно, конечно нет. Да. А, а как называется? Может, Игорь in Russia. In Russia? Игорь in Russia, да, Игорь в России. А где вы, в Инстаграме? А, в Ютубе. А, Ютуб, все, окей, Игорь in Russia. Пожалуйста. Да, ну и в Фейсбуке тоже, но... Да, да, да. да спасибо. Всего хорошего. Хорошо, да. Alright. Interesting stuff. So he said that uh, he's a uh, owner of the barber shop, and uh, the wife of somebody who personally knows Prigozhin. Uh, personally knows Prigozhin came to him, and uh, no, 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 a person, a man, whose wife was working as his assistant in Wagner, said that. Uh, they knew him personally and that uh, yeah and but she said yeah he they didn't let her know any secrets and uh, and he said also that the letters are have been taken off already very nice couple this is what's great about Russia people are you know very uh, open despite what you believe and read of course depending on the matters of course but that's anywhere. That's my opinion. All right, Novo, I don't know if this is Novocherkaska anymore, but check it out. They took out the uh, company's name already. And I said, wow, very fast. I didn't feel like filming him in the fright in the face, even though he was uh, probably okay with it. Anyways, we are here and I'm not sure where can we go. Let's go across here because here it looks like an empty thing. But I think this is for security reasons. They have laid this flat. Wow. All right, guys. In my next effort, I will try to get inside the Wagner Center. 
and have a maybe ask somebody what's going on what do you guys think thumbs up if you support this type of great idea so here I asked him did he, he lives nearby works here he said and I asked him that uh, did you see anything here and he said that uh, only in the news just like me I saw like there was people inside oh my god there was a person with a Z letter there can you see him oh wow if I zoom in are they packing up it looks like a military dude it says место для курения wow they're a proper company so they had like a place to smoke, smoking area. It's in English as well. So I guess they had like, actually, yeah, they had different, of course, uh, operations all around the world. Africa, different. Different kind of uh, uh, operations all around. So international. International companies are cooperating with them and now they have been saying that I won't do this American stuff where you go to like on the edge of the public area and try to say something like I'm in the public uh, that would be crazy so uh, so this road ends here there's an entrance actually entrance downstairs to the parking lot downstairs behind me but I'm not gonna go there I don't want to actually irritate anybody you know because it's it is in the news they might call the police on me anyway the road ends here so let's put it put it in the back keep it in the background so they were saying that Wagner's soldiers have different kind of options one is that they leave that they leave, yeah, I think he's packing up. That person in the back, he's packing up. He's got, he got maybe fired, I don't know. Or maybe he's leaving to Belarus. Yes, coming to that first thing. So they have one option to go to Belarus. I don't, hopefully there's no mines here. Shit. So, one option is to go to Belarus, to join Prigozhin there. Second is to uh, uh, become a uh, retire. And number three, shit, the road ends. That was number two, road ends. And number, and check it out, there's a small seat under the tree. It's for spies, it's for spies, I'm sure. Man, I have to, let's go across here. I hope there's no mines here. Do you think there's mines here? If I explode, that would be that would be a dumb thing, right? I guess they should read that landmines. Be careful. All right, people just passing by. Yes, the third option is to for soldiers to actually join the Russian army and continue serving there. So that's the story of Wagner and one thing is that still under question is of course according to the Western media is that uh, they say that uh, Putin is gonna kill FSB is gonna kill precaution anyways it's all very suspicious because one theory then again also in the West, as well in the West, saying that, uh, I think this is a buffer zone for real. Anyways, he's saying that, uh, uh, let me take a photo. So the letters have been taken off. It said Wagner Center. There's no Wagner Center anymore. They were quick to move, act. And uh, one question is that uh, 
Mm -hmm. They also claim that the soldiers, that this whole the coup was a Putin's idea. So what you guys think? Mm -hmm. Who did what? Was this Wagner coup just a just a th way to make you look elsewhere? And elsewhere, I mean, because here's a here's the uh, thumbnail. So yeah, the idea was because Wagner's the twenty-five thousand that were going to Moscow actually now are in, in Belarus, much nearer to Kiev. So this is very interesting stuff. And there we can actually see a Cheveka Wagner Center. Three floors. Check it out, let's go closer. There you go. Wagner Center. So, all right, guys, this was uh, Igor in Russia, Wagner Center after the coup. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Click a thumb, thumbs up, subscribe, watch my other videos where I show real Russia reality with a Western perspective. See you guys in the next video and uh, bye bye, stay safe. I hope I stay safe as well.